Your grandmother likely found out she was pregnant by injecting her pee into a frog. And it led to the most destructive mass extinction event of modern time. Here's how. Take a look at this photo. It's pretty old, from 1952. It's a pair of medical technicians. And notice right here, she's holding a frog and a syringe. That syringe is full of urine. She's injecting someone's mystery urine into the frog. And then they'll put the frog into a special jar like this and wait. If nothing happens, that means the person isn't pregnant. But if they wait and suddenly the frog starts laying eggs, that means the person is pregnant. This was the most common pregnancy test from 1930 all the way until 1960. And then something terrible happened, which caused the extinction of amphibians worldwide. Can you guess what it was? Well, it all started with these guys. This is an African clawed frog. It's the same frog that was in the jar photo. African clawed frogs were the most common frogs used in pregnancy tests. Before the 1930s, they were only found here in Africa. But as the pregnancy test industry expanded, they were shipped and sold to laboratories all across the world. This wasn't a big problem though, because all of these frogs were kept in labs until the 1970s when these were invented. At home pregnancy tests. Suddenly, all these labs didn't need their frogs anymore. So many labs took their frogs and released them into the wild. Now, there were wild populations of African clawed frogs across the world. And the big problem was, that's not the only thing that the labs released. No one knew it at the time, but if you swabbed a clawed frog and looked at it under a microscope, you'd find something else was living on the frog's skin. This is chytrid fungus. Chytrid fungus does nothing to clawed frogs. They're immune to it, but it can survive on their skin. And if that fungus is transferred to the skin of a different amphibian, it begins to infect. It causes their skin to thicken, which makes it harder to absorb nutrients, release toxins, and breathe. So not long after they're infected, the amphibian's heart stops beating. When these pregnancy labs released millions of clawed frogs into the wild, they also suddenly released millions of colonies of deadly chytrid fungus, which quickly spread throughout every continent across the world. And bad things started to happen right away. Native frog colonies began declining on every continent. Entire frog species would go extinct in one year. Soon, 120 species of amphibians would have 90% of their population wiped out. 90 species would become extinct entirely. And 30% of all amphibian species in the entire world would become infected by chytrid fungus. All because these frogs were really good at telling whether someone was pregnant. Well, so now what? What can we do to help? I hear stories like this all the time, but I'm never really sure how I personally can help wildlife across the world. Well, watch this. 
Here's some footage from a group that recently teamed up with researchers to find and protect lost frog species in Ecuador. Well, they're called Planet Wild, and they have an interesting approach to conservation. Each month, they team up with a different conservation organization to complete a specific conservation project. We, as a community, contribute to Planet Wild monthly, starting as low as six bucks. That money goes directly to the project. And here's the cool thing. Planet Wild creates YouTube videos and reports about their project to show you exactly what you helped achieve, like rewilding orphan bears, finding lost frogs, and reestablishing ancient forests. I think Planet Wild is so cool that the first 200 people who sign up and use this code will get the first month of a Planet Wild membership paid for by me personally. And after that, if you don't want to support Planet Wild, you can just cancel any time. You can scan this QR code to join or watch their frog mission video here. Thanks a bunch for watching. I'll see you in the next one.